What do you want? I know I'm the one going to face Sasha Banks now, but just wanted to say, nice match. Thanks. I'll admit you're better than I thought. But you're lucky I'm not 100%. If I was, I'd be the one taking on Sasha Banks tonight. So next time we fight, I promise it won't be anything like our first encounter. I look forward to seeing you at your best. That was amazing! Are you so excited? I'm so excited, and I'm not even going to Raw. How springy do you think the mat will be? Same as here, or slightly different? Do you think Sasha Banks will smell good? Will you bring me back something from catering? Oh, and some hotel shampoo? Fanny, you're starting to hyperventilate again. I know! This is embarrassing! You're the one going, and I'm hyperventilating! <laughs> I guess I'm just hyperventilating on the inside. Right. I'm gonna go try to calm down. Good luck, and don't forget the shampoo. Ugh, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here to face Sasha Banks tonight. They sent you? You've been at the PC for what? 24 hours? I think it was just under three, actually. Great. I mean, first it was the travel issues and now this. Do you think the other GMs have to deal with this crap? No, they don't. They could have at least sent someone who spent some time inside a real ring. I thought it would be Josie Jane. So did she. But I'm here now, and I plan to make the most of my opportunity. Okay. I guess we'll have to make it work. Just try not to embarrass yourself or me or Raw, okay? You know what? That's too much to ask. Just don't get hurt. What's up? I'm our truth Welcome to Friday Night Raw. Isn't it Monday Night Raw? Man, I was one of the lucky ones who made it back from Europe. I'm so jet-lagged, I don't know what day it is. But Ra is always on Mondays. Only if you don't have a DVR. Anyway, someone told me you were a PC girl. That's right. Cool. I don't know nothing about computers, but I'm starting to think that fad is here to stay. It certainly looks that way. Listen. A little birdie told me you were here to face Sasha Banks. That's true. I'm hoping to give her everything I've got. Enough about that. The real question is, why are birdies telling me other people's secrets? I don't know. One of life's great mysteries, I guess. Anyway, good luck against Sasha. I got a feeling you're going to be fine. But keep an eye out for any gossiping birds. They're bad news. Thanks. Who are you? You don't know? Okay. Well, in a couple hours, you're gonna find out. <laughs> Cute. But I don't wrestle fans. Don't insult me by calling me a fan of yours. I'm from the PC. I know who's at the PC. You? Ain't one of them. I just started today. And they sent you to face me? Are you kidding? I was supposed to have a Raw Women's Championship match against Naomi tonight. And now I'm facing off against this joke? <laughs> Wait. 
Are you dying? And this is your wish? You're gonna wish you hadn't said that. I might be new here, but tonight you're gonna call me the boss. I'm going to enjoy this. You sure are luckier than a skinny caribou in September. Lucky? I beat Sasha Banks fair and square. Don't ever forget the only reason you were there was because I was hurt. That should have been me. Yeah, but it wasn't you, was it? It was me. I was the one who beat Sasha Banks in front of millions. And you were still here crying about it. I am going to dedicate myself to showing the world the truth about you. That I deserve to compete with the best? I think they already know. Okay, tell me everything. How did it feel? Winning? I mean, it felt great. Obviously. No, not that. I want to know about the ring, the ropes. How was the catering? Do they use real silverware or plastic? Oh, do they have extra underwear in case you get so excited that you pee a little? Um, I didn't ask. Did you shower after? Sorry, stupid question. I don't think I would, though. Talk about a sweat souvenir. I can't believe you beat Sasha Banks. Do you want to watch the match? I've recorded the whole thing on my phone. I've seen it about 30 times already. No thanks. I was there. I know how it turned out. <laughs> totally. I'm gonna watch it again, though, either way. Still can't believe it! See you out there, champ! Okay. I guess now we know you really are that good. Thanks. But don't worry. I know I've got a lot left to learn. You do, but you've also got talent. And right now, the only limit I see to how far you can go is how hard you're willing to work. Guess it's time to get back to the grind. Guess so. Keep it up. Well, if it isn't Miss Lucky... Well, if it isn't Miss Jealous... Not jealous. Vengeful. The only reason you got the chance to face Sasha Banks was because I was banged up. Excuses, excuses. Oh, then get in the ring with me again. I'm finally healthy. Let's find out who's right and who's a lucky poser. I'm not afraid to get my nails dirty. I'm in. What's up? It's me, R-Truth. Good to see you again, Truth. Today I'm like your friendly neighborhood town crier. Except in this case, I'm not sad. Hear ye, hear ye. Sasha Banks has been talking all kinds of trash about you. She called you garbage, junk, and a waste. 
She also said some stuff about you being terrible and unattractive and having nasty breath. Do you floss? It's super important. Yes, of course. Well, looks like I've got some extra fuel next time I get in the ring with Sasha. You can't wait that long. You need to fire back, like a diss track. I'll record it, then I can play it for Sasha next time I see her. Let's do it. Great. And why stop with just Sasha Banks? You got to put everyone on notice. Like Nikki Cross, you're only good standing by a superstar, blissfully pretending that you're better than we know you are. You fail unless coattails tip scales so your tags prevail. So focus on the things you can do, namely hair and nails. Damn, remind me to never get on your bad side. That was fire. I can't wait to play this for Sasha. Let me know what she says. No, I mean it. I can't wait. I'm posting it to social media right now. Got something cool lined up if you're interested. You could be in the next WWE 2K video game. Really? That's amazing. Well, to be clear, it wouldn't be you, as in like a character that is you. But when someone is getting beat up in the game, that will be your movements. You're not really selling this. You get to wear one of those cool mocap suits get to basically the producers of the game need you to last five minutes with a wwe superstar so they can get enough footage of their moves would i at least get a free copy of the game no promises so do you want to do it or no after they see me in the ring there's no doubt they'll give me a bigger role that's the spirit Your submissions are weak, just an FYI. Maybe you need an up-close demonstration. No. I can see how weak they are from a kilometer away. What makes you such an expert anyway? I'm from Calgary. We have a great tradition of submission wrestling. I thought you were from Saskatoon. That's close. Is it? Well, I trained in Calgary. I know. We all know. You trained in Calgary, home of the world-famous Hart family. And they taught you everything you know about wrestling. Well, no. I trained with Riley Flash. And he was trained by a guy who trained with a guy who knew them pretty well. So... You know, osmosis. Sounds like your science is as weak as your geography. Makes sense, though. Riley Flash is the Saskatoon of wrestling. I know you're insulting my mentor, even if I'm not exactly sure how. But we're getting in the ring for a good old-fashioned Calgary submission match to settle this. What's a Calgary submission match? Same as a regular submission match. But someone from Calgary is in the ring. So, really a Saskatoon submission match. You wanna wrestle or not? Take it easy. Let's find out whose submission game needs work. I'd ask if you're the trainee everyone's talking about, but I know having access to the PC means not engaging in WWE gossip. An exclusive for my podcast is not worth getting kicked out of here, but could be cool for my listeners to hear about a match between a WWE recruit and the indie wrestler who's training here today. That's not breaking any rules, right?
Nia, Jax, and Tamina have been hanging around the PC recently, and I guess they upset Fanny with some not-so-constructive criticism of her skills. Anyway, I think she'd appreciate some help standing up to them. Are you as excited about this as I am? Are you my new manager? Yup, and I am so jazzed about this. I always thought I'd make a great manager. Then I'm glad we're both getting the opportunity to try this out. That's the spirit. Now, I've been watching managers for years and I've learned a lot. I'm thinking we can go with a Paul Bear Undertaker vibe. I know where we can get an urn, cheap. I've kind of got my own thing already. Right, 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 I get it. What if you called me the brain or Miss Saxton a bit? Oh, I got it. The mouth of the north. Oh, I knew this was a mistake. I don't see how this works. Not with that attitude. We got to give this a real shot. Let's get you in the ring and me in your corner. Is it just me, or has the training gotten a little stale lately? No way! I'm learning from the best at WWE's Performance Center. I don't think this could ever get stale. Good. Well, it's my job to try and keep it that way. I want to introduce a PC Championship belt to up the competition. Want to compete for it? Sure. I plan on winning a number of titles in my career. Might as well start now. Great. You'll be in a triple threat match with Josie and Fanny. May the best woman win. Hey, I've been really impressed with your training so far. Thank you. I'm trying my best. It shows. I keep thinking about new ways to challenge you, and I think I found one. The WWE Decathlon. Oh, cool. Event number one, wrestling. Event number two, um... Okay, I'm gonna need some help here. 
I'll put you in the ring with Fanny, and I'll give you ten objectives you have to complete before you can attempt to pin or submit her. What do you think? I like it. Adds a new wrinkle to the match. I'm in. Great. You get changed while I put a list of objectives together. See you out there. Are you, like, so pumped? We get to meet William Regal! Do you think he'll sign my action figure? You have a William Regal action figure with you? Always! You never know! Uh, do you think they were just in the neighborhood, or is something special going on? We're having a PC showcase. The GMs are coming to see if any of us are ready to be signed. What? I stopped listening after they said who was coming! This day just gets better and better! I cannot believe it! You're starting to hyperventilate again. I know. It's better I get it out now. I hope you're not too excited about this showcase. Josie, your jealousy's showing again. Jealous? Of you? You know everyone's coming to scout me, right? I'm finally healthy, not like when you fluked into your match against Sasha. I'm going to destroy Fanny and let everyone see who Josie Jane really is. Good luck. There's room in WWE for both of us. Let's go put on a show.
I must admit, that was a rather brilliant performance. With that being said, we would be absolutely delighted to have you join us in NXT. This is a lot to take in. I just need a few minutes to think it over. That's fine, but you don't have a lot of time. Weigh your options and get back to me. That was a hell of a match. I have to admit, I didn't think you had it in you. I guess you now know not to underestimate me. I do. And if you're interested, we'd love to have you on SmackDown. What do you say? Thanks. It's a big decision. I need to think it over. I get that. But let me know before I leave today. Wow. I thought for sure Sasha wouldn't let you beat her again. She didn't let me do anything. Of course. You know what I mean. Listen, it takes a lot to impress me. And you've done it twice. You have to sign with Raw. It's a big decision. Let me think about it. Don't play games with me. If you want to sign, let me know. If not, you're a loss. I must admit, that was a rather brilliant... It would be an honor to follow in the footsteps of so many NXT greats. Uh, thank you. Tremendous. I'll send over the paperwork right away. Welcome aboard. I guess you expect me to congratulate you. No, but I'd appreciate it. And I'm sure you'll get your chance before long, too. You're not the only one who's getting out of here. I just got signed to SmackDown. Wow, good for you. At least someone who has real talent is getting their opportunity. As for you, I do not have high hopes. Funny, that's not what management thought. But maybe we can settle this someday if we ever end up on the same brand. Yeah, maybe. NXT? Who's got NXT? We got NXT! You got signed to NXT too? Yep, we're gonna be tearing it up with Dakota Kai, Mia Yim, Tegan Knox. I'm bringing my gear, my autograph book, and the bags I breathe into when I start to hyperventilate. Fanny, you've got to relax. We both got signed because we belong there. We're not fans anymore. Who knows, one of us could end up becoming NXT champion. You think you might become NXT champion? That's my plan. You have got to sign my autograph book! I guess I know where to turn if I ever need an ego boost. Just don't sign to Fanny in case I ever have to sell the autograph online. You get more cash if they're not personalized. This is going to be so much fun! I got nothing to say to you. You could start with congrats. You got lucky. Again. And if I see a single post on social media about this, you and I are going to have problems. After our two matches, how can you think that sounds threatening? I'm so glad you're going to be on NXT. Stay as far away from me and Raw as possible. No promises. Congratulations. Yeah, we think this is an absolutely perfect fit for you. Just remember, this isn't an ending. It's the beginning of the next chapter of training. You're always learning in WWE. Having a long and successful career means you never stop pushing yourself to be better. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. But be sure to stop and appreciate the moments. Otherwise, it'll be over in an instant. Okay, okay, got it. You know I'll still be available via phone, right? And I'll probably still come in here to work out on off days. You don't have to cram every piece of advice into this conversation. Just trying to help, but I hear you. Good luck out there. Hey, you want to watch some old matches? I've got a great one lined up of Cactus Jack and my good buddy Edge. I met him at a gas station in 2009 and have considered him a friend ever since. 
Accosting people at random gas stations sounds exactly like how I expected you to try to make friends. Right place at the right time. So, you want to watch? No. Unlike you, I'm able to get wins in the ring, so I don't have to spend time watching my friends get wins instead. Um, I can get wins, especially after watching these old matches. My friends have been teaching me a lot. You want to find out how much you still have to learn? Face me in the ring. Sure. We can take a rain check on our dinner, popcorn, and watching old matches night. Let's do this. <laughs> wow, that did not go according to plan. Looks like I haven't quite mastered those new moves my wrestling friends have been teaching me. Well, you've sure mastered losing. Ha! <laughs> Nothing like a good friend to bust your chops. It's not busting chops, it's pointing out the obvious. You don't belong here. Oh, really? Because I know a lot of big-time wrestlers who would say otherwise. Oh, you mean your friends? That's right. I've got major connections. Watch your tongue or watch your back. Just because you played as someone on WWE 2K doesn't make them your friend. How about I bring in one of my friends next week for a tag match? That is, if you can find someone willing to team with you. Sure, I'll be happy to face you and whatever cardboard cutout you bring with you. What happened, Fanny? Couldn't find a wrestling fairy godmother to grant your wish? I guess paying for some autographs doesn't make someone your partner after all. Ugh, you got so lucky. My partner was coming down from Canada and got held up by customs. Your Canadian tag team partner got held up? <laughs> That's even better. Travel issues happen all the time in WWE. You of all people should know that. My friend will be here next week. We want another match. You don't know when to quit, do you? Fine. We'll whip you and your imaginary friend. Again. Not likely. Unless she can't get a rental car. That's happened before. Anyway, I'm pretty sure she'll be there. You're one of my favorites to watch in NXT. Probably helps that you're not snarky like Candice LeRae. I posted a compilation video of some of her best tables matches, and she saw it and insulted my editing skills. Now, I'm more interested in seeing Candice have a bad tables match. <laughs> Can I give you a compliment? I really can't stand you. You are literally the worst. I dislike you so much, I'd love to see you get absolutely destroyed by Rhea Ripley. <laughs> Again, all a compliment though. Keep it up. I usually love running into my favorite WWE superstars, but then there's Fanny. I asked her for a selfie the other day and she said yes, but then she wanted my number and has been texting me non-stop. You know how she gets? Hoping you can intimidate her into leaving me alone? I've been meaning to tell you, we have one open spot left in the Royal Rumble. Know anybody who might be interested? Yes, me. I'd love to get a chance to be in the Royal Rumble. I figured you'd say something like that. Well, here's what we're going to do. First, we'll have a six-woman tag match. The winning team will then immediately compete in a triple threat over the top rope challenge. Last woman standing gets the rumble spot. Sounds like a tough assignment. But if that's what it takes, I'm in. 
I know I'm up to the challenge. Cage Match Week is coming up on my podcast, highlighting the most extreme cage matches in WWE history. Historically, they haven't featured many women, but thought you might want to change that, especially considering how tough you claim to be. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm making time to talk with you. I just figured it was about time we got acquainted. The only thing I'm wondering is why you're still here. Oh, feisty. I like that. You might be exactly what Carrie and Cross and I are looking for. Someone to join us on our quest for domination. I like the sound of that. Keep talking. In order for us to conquer NXT, Carrion needs to take Johnny Gargano's NXT Championship. And time is running out. What does this have to do with me? I was getting to that. The best way to get to Gargano is through his wife Candace LeRae. So that's what we'd like you to do. Go through Candace. Take her out and Johnny won't be able to think about anything else. Leaving him exposed and vulnerable. What's in it for me? A priceless opportunity. If you succeed, we just might be willing to make room in our group for you. Taking out Candace sounds like fun. And joining your side is too much to turn down. I'll do it. This will be a disaster of the most beautiful kind. With your help, we are going to make Candace and Johnny fall and pray. Well, other than Regal banning me from ringside, this has gone about as well as we could have hoped. 
I knew you had potential. I can see why you two like that hourglass so much. Symbolic and effective. True, but let's focus on what's important. Carrion's shot at that title depends on you delivering again. So you two need to learn to work together and quick. You've seen what I'm capable of. It shouldn't take long for us to get up to speed. Let's hope not. But just in case, I'll arrange for you to team together a couple of times to prepare for the championship match. Make every moment count. I'll be watching. You're gonna like what you see. Thanks for what you did teaming with Carrion. Without you, I'm not sure we would have achieved our goals. At least, not this quickly. So, what's up next for the Angels of Doom? Because I've got my eyes on a couple more titles. Angel of Doom. Carrion and I have talked things over and we believed you fulfilled your purpose. We're going to continue our crusade alone. Seriously? I thought we had a deal. No deal. Just... an arrangement. And now, that arrangement is over. I should have known. Don't do this. This is bigger than any one person. And we won't lose sight of what you did. Time never forgets. And we always remember.
Wow. I saw all that drama on social media. Dakota's accusations are crazy. I know, right? I can't believe you said all those things. What? I didn't. Fanny, come on. You know me. Are you really going to trust Dakota's word over mine? Of course not, but when I told Dakota that, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, it's totally true, and she was serious in a way that I was really not prepared for, and it scared me a little bit, and now I'm thinking that, yes, I do believe her over you. I'm very disappointed. Seriously? After all we've been through? You know what? I've been so annoyed by this whole situation that I really need to blow off some steam in the ring. And since Dakota is dodging me, I think it should be you. So how about we see if I can change your mind that way? Do you ever step back and think about how odd it is that this is the only way we choose to settle our differences? Me neither. Let's do it! So, you've been busy. And you haven't. I need you to step in and stop all this social media back and forth. Normally stuff like this wouldn't bother me, but she's going after my reputation. Finn, too. And then I beat her, and that still didn't shut her up. What more can I do? Nothing. It's a she said, she said situation. And it's hard to know whose side to take. It's not very hard. Take mine. The one who isn't lying. For all I know, you might have been lying when you said that. It's quite a conundrum. Luckily, I've come up with a magnificent and unprecedented solution. The two of you will face off in a no disqualification match. Whomever loses will then be immediately hooked up to a lie detector machine. Then we'll have definitive proof of who has been forthright and who has not. This is unbelievable. It is, but after this, one of you will be believable. Not sure if you've heard, but there's a superstar shakeup approaching. I did hear. How do you think that's going to end up for me? Since you're a main eventer here on NXT, I'll leave that up to you. You can be protected from switching brands, or you can be eligible. It's your call. I see. Anything else I should know? There's a stipulation saying that any champions who go to another brand will be forced to vacate their titles. That pretty much covers it. I have more to accomplish here in NXT, so keep me out of the shakeup. Very well.
Looks like we're facing each other in the next round of the Mayon Classic. You won your first round match? Who did you face? Dakota Kai. She was about to hit me with the chiropractor, but then she slipped on the wet mat. I ended up capitalizing and I'm through. Why was the mat wet? I went full Triple H tribute on my entrance. Might have gone a bit overboard with the water spit part. Your counterattack is spitting water in the air? Good to know. I'll make sure to wear rain boots when I take you down. I think that would clash with your gear. And just so you know, I want that title shot against Rhea just as bad as you do. So be ready. Okay, Triple H2O. I was wondering, do you know anybody who would be interested in challenging Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's Championship? Do we have to go through this every time we talk? Yes. Being a GM can be tedious at times. You must allow me my few available joys. Okay. Gee, Mr. Regal, I'd sure love a chance to face Rhea Ripley. I won't even mind if you're about to tell me that it isn't as simple as that and whoever faces Rhea will actually have to jump through a number of hoops to earn the title shot. I thought you'd say that. Well, it's not going to be that easy. Because, wait, what did you just say? Nothing. Just tell me what I need to do. Now you've taken all the fun out of it. Come on, let's try again. I assume there's just a sign-up sheet or something? Of course there's not a sign-up sheet. We can't just hand out title chances willy-nilly. They must be earned. This is a company-wide opportunity. We're going to set up a number of fatal four-ways in what I'm calling the Road to Rhea. The winners of those matches will face each other in a final elimination four-way to determine who will take on Rhea Ripley for a championship. The question is, are you interested in getting on the road? Getting on the road. I like that. Thanks. So, are you interested or not? I'm in. I can't turn down a shot at a title, no matter how long the road is. I like the turn of phrase remarkably less coming from you. Congrats. You look better than I expected. Thanks. Still not good enough to defeat me, though. I don't even know why we're going through the charade of this match. Because I want your championship. And I want to listen to nothing but metal in the locker room. But sometimes we end up with EDM. Point is, even I don't always get what I want. With that being said, I'm more than happy to defeat you in the ring if you don't mind the embarrassment. Big talk from a big fraud. Watch your back, in and out of the ring. I'm not running, but trust me, you should.
I gather you have a complaint. Yeah, I've got a complaint. Rhea should be stripped of her title. What she pulled last night was completely out of line. Unbecoming of a champion, if you ask me. I didn't. And as I recall, she wasn't the only one who attacked her opponent with a kendo stick. She attacked. I defended myself. There's a huge difference. Unfortunately for you, in this case, that difference exists mainly in your mind. This is insane! I agree. This whole rivalry between the two of you has grown to outsized proportions. I've discussed the conflict with Mr. McMahon and Triple H. They both agree with my brilliant idea to hold a rematch this weekend. This weekend? At WrestleMania? Indeed. And to guarantee a victor one way or another, it will be false count anywhere. It's about time you gave me the spotlight. Now I'm going to win Rhea's championship on the grandest stage of them all. At the very least, you'll try. Best of luck. And let's leave the weaponry at home this time, shall we? No promises. It was lovely to see dear Tegan back in the ring again. It was more lovely at the beginning than at the end for her, wasn't it? I, for one, cannot wait to see the rematch. Why would there be a rematch? I just beat her. Send the girl with the flimsiest knee to the back of the line. Yes, normally that would be the standard protocol. However, Tegan's first match was little more than her knocking off the ring rust and you have to admire how hard she's worked to come back. Also, we have a bit of a family connection in the UK. You see, a long time ago, her father helped me out of a scrape in Wales involving a tiny hat, a one-legged woman, and an off-puttingly irate horse. So, I owe him one. So since you're clearly playing favorites, it sounds like I don't have a choice in this? Of course you do. You may choose to face Tegan, defending your title, or you may choose to hand over your title to Tegan without a match. The choice truly is yours. Whatever. I'll beat her again. Deal. 
give me an exclusive for my podcast, and I won't report on what I heard about you being voted the least like soup. I've been watching a ton of old China matches lately. Her WrestleMania championship win in 2 minutes and 39 seconds, iconic. Think you can beat someone that quick? I had Dakota Kai on the podcast last week and I guess she didn't like how she came off because now she's threatening to sue if I don't take it down. I rely on that ad money and I certainly can't afford legal fees. Can you get her to back off? I know you already have a match tonight, but I'm desperate. Some WWE execs are coming from LA, but their flight is delayed. They won't get here until after the NXT taping is over. Want to be a team player and put on a non-televised match for the execs and audience after the show? Not sure if you've heard, but there's a superstar shakeup approaching. I did hear. How do you think that's gonna end up for me? Since you're a main eventer here on NXT, I'll leave that up to you. You can be protected from switching brands, or you can be eligible. It's your call. I see. Anything else I should know? There's a stipulation saying that any champions who go to another brand will be forced to vacate their titles. That pretty much covers it. I think a potential change of scenery sounds good. So I want you to put me in the shakeup. All right. All superstars participating in the shakeup must compete this week so the other GMs can see them in action. I heard Adam Pierce likes to scout singles matches, while Mandy Rose prefers tag matches. So basically, which GM do you want to cater to? Put me in a singles match so I can show Adam Pierce what I could do on SmackDown. Done. And if this is it, well, it's been interesting. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Ugh. I knew it was impossible to avoid you much longer. Nice to see you too, Josie. How have you been? Let's dispense with the pleasantries, okay? Thankfully, so far we've been able to stay out of each other's way for the most part. But as we both climb the ranks of SmackDown, that's not going to be an option anymore. And there's only room for one of us at the top. Well, I hope you enjoy the view, from down below. I'll tell you how things look from the top of the mountain, while you close your eyes and imagine what it would be like if you were as good as me. When I close my eyes, the only thing I see is you lying broken on the mat. Why don't you step in the ring with me, so I can make it a reality? I'll get in the ring with you. I could use a warm-up match before I face some real opponents. Well, it looks like I picked the right week to visit SmackDown. I hear you and Josie are getting in the ring. Yep, should be fun. Let me offer you some advice and you can do what you like with it. I know a lot about deep-rooted feuds and squaring off versus someone from Calgary. There are a lot of ways to win, but the choices you make will determine the 
kind of superstar fans see you as. Makes sense. So the question is, do you take Josie out in the ring? Or do you get her before she even makes it there? I can take her in the ring. And I'm not going to give her any additional reason to complain about the results. Probably smart. Now you've just got to make sure you win. I hope you're not spending too much time celebrating or reading your mentions on social media. I'm spending the exact right amount of time celebrating the absolutely glorious way I shut you down. You might have beaten me once, but I just talked to Adam Pierce, and now we're doing a best of three series. Nice of him to let me know. I'm letting you know now, and I'll let you know that I'm going to beat you twice to prove who's ready to take their career to the next level, unless you can't handle that kind of pressure. I'm happy to give you another chance, because I know I can handle the pressure, and I know I can beat you again. It's only going to help my case as I work towards being SmackDown Women's Champion. We'll see. Listen, I don't know when we might meet in the ring again, but it's clear that neither you or I are going anywhere. I know I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. It's also clear that this rivalry isn't going away either. You're going to get some wins, I'm going to get some wins. I don't see any of that changing. But the one thing that has changed is that after that series, I certainly have gained a lot of respect for you and your abilities. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. We might have had our differences, but I want you to know I've got your back. No matter what. And I hope when push comes to shove, if I ever need it, you'll have mine too. I will. Good luck out there. And maybe we'll both make that leap to the next level. Together. Yeah. Maybe. What my favorite part of my job as a WWE cameraman is? When I get the perfect angle of amazing move from a WWE superstar. I, I share all my favorite shots online. I love to update my social media with your finisher. Would you indulge me? I tried to tell Lacey Evans what a fan I am of the woman's right, but she just called me a nasty, laughed, and walked away. Any chance I could persuade you to stick up for me? I guess I am a bit nasty, but I'm not a nasty. There's a difference. We did a listener poll recently on my podcast, and turns out they'd be pretty pumped to see an Iron Woman match on SmackDown. You know, I thought competing on the indies prepared me for anything. But nothing got me ready for the constant schedule here in WWE. You are on the indies? Yeah, I competed all over the country. <laughs> oh, US indies? They are nothing compared to indies in Japan. What do you mean? <laughs> Japan is harder. Oh, really? Why do you think Japan is so hard and America is so easy? You don't know what I went through over here, how hard I worked. Japan, hard, America. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm not the only one around here who came up on the American indie scene. I'd watch what you say, especially when it comes to underestimating me. We will see. What do you mean by that?
I love that so many WWE superstars care so much about the world and their communities. Speaking of, are you entering the upcoming SmackDown Gives Back Charity Battle Royal? Evolution is back? What an amazing opportunity. I'm certainly glad that we put our best foot forward in front of Stephanie last week. I know! What legends do you think we'll have the chance to compete against? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Lord, this is going to be something. Look at me! I am so grateful that Mr. McMahon decided to recognize me with this great honor. What are you talking about? Oh, just this United States Championship that was reintroduced for the WWE Women's Division. I'm sure you recognize the classic design. I'm all for another championship to pursue, but why was it awarded to you? Really, honey? Why was the United States Championship awarded to me, a former United States Marine? <laughs> Come now. I mean, I practically am America. Did you think they were going to choose a little nasty like yourself? Well, I'd at least hope someone would earn it in the ring as opposed to just getting a handout. I know I'd like a fair shot at it. Bless your heart. Is that a challenge? You bet it's a challenge. After all, I'm sure you want to teach your daughter the value of hard work to get what you want, instead of just accepting unearned championships, even if it is from the chairman. You'll leave Summer out of this, thank you very much. And you would have done your best to leave yourself out of it too. No one steps to the woman's United States champion Lacey Evans like that. Watch your back, you nasty. Seems like someone poked the bear, didn't she? If the bear is Lacey Evans, that is. Listen, I don't care who awarded Lacey with that U.S. championship. I want a shot at it. And after Lacey's attack, I have as much right to it as anyone. Lacey included. Well, you're definitely not the only one who's upset with Lacey. A lot of women on SmackDown have been eyeing that title, and are pretty annoyed with how high and mighty she's been acting lately. Yeah, among other things, I'm pretty tired of hearing her play the Star-Spangled Banner over and over in the locker room. Beautiful song, but you can only take so much. Anyway, I've told Lacey that as long as I'm the GM of this brand, she has to defend the women's US title. But Lacey has an idea of how she wants to do it, and since Mr. McMahon gave her the championship directly, I'm letting her run with it. 
She's promised to announce it on social media later today. She's setting the terms for her title defense? Ugh, it's gonna be insufferable, isn't it? Well, when Lacey Evans is involved, yeah, probably. Well, lordy lordy, look who got a lucky break. When are you intending on returning what's mine? More like lordy lordy, look who came up shorty. I will not dignify that with a response, but I will accept the time and date of my title rematch to take back the Women's U.S. Championship. What makes you think you deserve that? I beat you, fair and square. Fair and square unless you count the very clear fact that I was behind on sleep after doing all the American press about my historic title reign. Fair and square unless you factor in the number of nasty, unintelligent people in attendance who cheered for you instead of me. You're not gonna drop this, are you? What about my American determination and work ethic makes you think I will relent from fighting injustice whenever and wherever I see it? Oh boy. All right, I'll play ball. I'll give you your title match. Of course you will. It's the right thing to do. On one condition. If I beat you, again, you agree that we will be getting rid of the women's U.S. title completely. Because I can't stand to hear you talk about it anymore, regardless of who's champion. You can't just get rid of this championship. Mr. McMahon will be furious. We'll worry about that later. And besides, I know Adam Pierce and the entire SmackDown locker room will be behind me on this. But that shouldn't bother you, right? Unless you're worried about losing to me, that is. Well, you're right about that. I'll see you in the ring. Hold on, my beautiful U.S. Championship. I'm coming for you and will rescue you from this undeserving nasty. You've been making quite an impression so far on SmackDown. I hope so. I'm really trying to make my mark and take advantage of every opportunity. Speaking of, I have some good news and bad news. Oh? There's a spot with your name on it in the upcoming Royal Rumble. As you know, the winner gets a title opportunity at WrestleMania. So what's the bad news? It's the number one spot, meaning you'd come out first and then have to face 29 other women. But it's yours if you want it. So, do you? I'll take it. After all, it'll be quite a story when I not only come out first, but am the last woman standing at the end of the rumble. It definitely would be. Good luck. I hear you have the number one Royal Rumble spot. You hear correctly. Guess what? I have the last spot. Number 30. Wanna treat and come out last? Why do I have the feeling that there's a catch? No catch. Just a favor. Go on. I don't need 30. I already am the SmackDown Women Champion. But Beth Phoenix is in the Rumble. And I do not want to face the Gramazon at WrestleMania. So take her out for me before the Rumble. So, attack Beth Phoenix, and I can be the last Rumble entrant? Yes. And then maybe you face me at WrestleMania. Not that you'd have a chance. Basically, win, win.
You may be grossly underestimating me, but even I can respect a deal. You don't want Beth in the Royal Rumble? Fine. Given how she treated me at the PC, I generally don't want Beth around anywhere. So I'll do your dirty work for you. But be warned that I'll be bringing the same level of attention to you when I win the Rumble and seal your fate in our title match at WrestleMania. <laughs> okay. I thought this issue with Beth was over. I beat her in the Royal Rumble, despite trying to garner sympathy from everyone and then making a predictable last minute recovery, she still competed and she lost. What can I say? It seems pretty clear that it's not over at all. I mean, after what you did trying to take her out before the Rumble, after everything she's done for you, honestly, I don't blame Beth at all. I see what's happening here. You know, just because you've worked with Beth in the past at the PC, and you're buddies with her husband, doesn't mean you get to skirt your responsibilities to be an unbiased GM. I can assure you that my decisions as GM have nothing to do with my personal friendships. Including this decision, I'm giving Beth a match against you at Elimination Chamber. Are you serious? I certainly am. And... If she wins, I'm giving her, not you, the title opportunity against Asuka at WrestleMania. You can't do that. I won the Royal Rumble. You can't just take that away. Well, what can I say? It's also against the rules to just change Royal Rumble places with another superstar. What, did you think I would just ignore that? You're lucky I didn't void your win for that alone. So after Elimination Chamber, whatever happens, We'll call it even. I thought you got rid of Beth Phoenix. Me too. Turns out our corrupt general manager has other ideas. I do not want to face Beth Phoenix. I will be in your corner at Elimination Chamber. Excuse me? Why should I trust you? I've made it perfectly clear. I want your title. I'm facing you at WrestleMania. You misted me at the Royal Rumble. You pointed at the WrestleMania sign. I had to. Rookie mistake! Right. Sign rules. Apparently the only rules that matter around here. But I'm gonna take on Beth on my own at Elimination Chamber. I think it's best we keep our distance. Until I have the chance to get my hands on that SmackDown women's title at WrestleMania, of course. <laughs> no. You know what one of my favorite sounds in the world is? Hearing the crack of a kendo stick over someone's back. I heard it at the first event I went to, and it's stuck with me ever since. I would love to see how vicious you could be with a kendo stick in your hand. My podcast listeners absolutely love to cheer on a villain. After all, morality and playing fair can be a bit stale. So they'd lose their minds to see you crush someone's dreams <laughs> and body in a no DQ match. Don't you get bored of lame rules? You seem like someone who thinks outside the box, someone who can take on an opponent anywhere. Which I I'm totally not saying to goad you into destroying a superstar in a Falls Count Anywhere match, <laughs> unless that strategy would work. 
Hey, I just wanted to say your actions on SmackDown haven't gone unnoticed. By me, at least. You have the kind of ruthless attitude I really enjoy. I'd say I'd do anything to get ahead, but when you're as talented as I am, getting ahead just comes naturally. It's not my fault other people get stepped on. Didn't say it was. Anyway, I didn't want to talk to you just to tell you I'm a fan. I have an idea. Something that would help us both. You interested? I'm always interested in helping myself. Tell me more. You know, I've had some bad experiences teaming with people in the past, but I have a good feeling about you. So here's the deal. Adam Pearce is bringing back a WWE legend for some stupid reason, charity or whatever. I actually have an issue with her and would like to send her a message. But unfortunately, I'm busy. But if you show her a warm welcome, you'll really look dominant and more people will notice. I get what I want and you get ahead. Win, win. Wow. Oh. I didn't get to where I am now by sitting back and just waiting for matches or attention. Exactly. And by the way, I've been talking to Baron Corbin too. He's been looking to gain some momentum for himself. So he agreed to take care of Adam Pierce while you handle the female legend. That work? Sounds like a plan. Why won't you believe me? I was never plotting any sort of uprising. It's insane. And what's supposed to convince me of that? The fact that you ambushed me and Trish in the ring with Corbin? Or that you attacked Sonya, the person who brought your plot to light? I don't even know why you're trying to convince me of anything. Your suspension will be over soon enough. And listen, I've made mistakes in the past too. When your suspension is over, I'm willing to give you another chance. But I'm telling you, Sonya was behind the whole thing. Again, with Sonya. Like I said before, that just doesn't make sense. And she's already proven useful to me as an assistant GM, having a second pair of eyes and ears around here. It's time to drop this lie and move on. But it's not a lie. Like I said, I've been in your shoes, but I learned to work hard treat people fairly, and earn respect. So listen, if you tell anyone I okayed this, I'll deny it. But why don't you go blow off some steam at an indie show while you're waiting for your suspension to be over? Fine, whatever.
I bet you think you're pretty smart, Sonia. That's SmackDown General Manager Sonia. Thank you very much. And yes, yes I do. So what, you recruiting me was all just part of some grand scheme to become SmackDown GM? How insecure are you? I'm clearly just standing up for what's right in WWE. However, if it was all part of a plan, and you, Corbin, Trish, and Adam Pearce were just collateral damage, those DMs and text messages were faked, mm, it's too bad that you wouldn't be able to prove it. You'll regret this, Sonya. I'll make sure of that. Maybe, but I sincerely doubt it. Because now, I have the power to officially control everyone on SmackDown. And the person I'm most looking forward to controlling? You. Why do you think I picked you in the first place? Someone getting too big for her britches? Thinking she was conniving enough to play in the big time? Not a chance, amateur. I could just fire you right now, but that would raise red flags and we don't want that. And like I said, it'll be a lot more fun to keep you around as my punching bag. So let's get the fun started tonight with your first match back from suspension. And by the way, it's a handicap match. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm done putting up with this, Sonia. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice? GM or not, you're still a WWE superstar. Let's settle this in the ring. You versus me. No scheming or power plays. Just a match to see who's better. And if I beat you, you're out as GM. Brilliant plan, Bozo. You're clearly out of your mind. I have everything I want right now, so why on earth would I agree to that stipulation? I'll tell you why. Because it's clear that you want me gone. So if I win, you're out as GM. But if you win, I leave SmackDown on my own. No red flags, no further investigation from WWE where they might look into my story a bit further. You get away with everything. Now that is interesting. It would be nice to get rid of you permanently without anyone thinking twice. And given that I know I can beat you easily when I'm not phoning it in, you've got a deal. Enjoy your last match here on SmackDown. Enjoy your last night as GM. Hey, where's Maurice? I really enjoyed beating her down last week. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome back to SmackDown anytime. I'm sorry, but are you really disrespecting my wife like that? The little dust up backstage was one thing, but what could be going through your mind that makes you think any of this is okay? Oh, just the adrenaline of remembering what it was like to smack her around. You wanna fight with Maurice? Fine. She'll take you on. But first, you better find a partner. Because you're gonna face both of us in a mixed tag match. You know, you'd think a guy wouldn't want a front row seat to see his wife getting beat down. Again. But hey, I get it. She is pretty annoying. See you out there.
you're here to reprimand me, you know Alexa had it coming. I'm not. You both have said and done a lot of things and I'm not dumb enough to get in the middle of it. I've got a wife and a daughter at home and you only need to learn that lesson once. But Alexa is right about one thing. You do need to defend your SmackDown Women's Championship. If Alexa wants my title, she can come try to get it. Unless Little Miss Fragile is too banged up to compete. Actually, thanks to your attack, Alexa is going to be out for a bit. Not surprised. But that doesn't mean you get to sit around and relax. I'll give you the choice of who you'd like to face next. Lacey Evans or Sonya Deville. If Sonya can take a break from organizing her suit collection long enough to get into the ring, I'll happily knock her right back out of it. Okay, I'll set it up. You sure aren't making a lot of friends around here. Luckily for you, so far, you've been able to back it up. I can't help it if lesser women find me intimidating. Full disclosure, even I don't sleep well the night before I have to talk to you. Anyway, I'm here to let you know that while you've taken care of Alexa, Nikki Cross is still hell-bent on revenge as well. And to be honest, I'm inclined to give her a chance to get it. So, you're taking their side in all this? No, but it is my job to put on the best show possible. And you said it yourself. You equal ratings, right? Besides, I think this issue between you and Nikki needs a resolution. And what if I wasn't done with Alexa yet? Look, I don't want to go back and forth. Like I said, didn't get a lot of sleep last night. But I can offer you this. You defend your championship against Nikki and Alexa in a triple threat or put your title on the line against them in a two-on-one match. Your call. Interesting solution. Won't they just be helping each other out either way? I have a feeling if you choose the triple threat, it'll be every woman for herself. Knowing them, they both want the title and will go through the other to get it. In that case, I'll take them on in a triple threat. Not only will I get to defeat them both at once, but I can sit back and watch them beat each other up. Win-win. Okay, I'll set it up. And please, maybe dial it back a notch. I'd like to get some more sleep. Heard you're bad-mouthing me in the locker room saying the camera angles I shoot you from are making you look weak. Really? It's not easy being a WWE cameraman. But I'm glad not all WWE superstars are so cruel to the crew. In fact, I've got a friend who has my back and thinks my work is pretty great.
Go ahead, pick a time. Pick a time? What are you talking about? I'll let you pick the time for when you lose your SmackDown Women's Championship to me. If I'm going to beat you for it, the least I can do is make it convenient. That being said, is now good? That's a little arrogant and a lot misinformed. You want a title match? I'll be more than happy to make an example out of you. And yeah, now is good. And I'm the arrogant one. All right. <laughs> Let's make our title match interesting, because you certainly won't. I'm thinking... No DQ. You're on. So, uh, thanks for trying to help me out there, I mean. I know we've had our differences in the past, but we came up together, and that counts for something. I'm just sorry I couldn't do more. Yeah, well, it seems pretty clear to me that Shayna stacked the cards against me from the start. That no DQ proposal was just an excuse to have her crew come down and interfere in the match. It's technically legal, but it's a dirty move. I've got to get my title back somehow. Well, like I said, I've got your back. Thanks. Clearly I could use the help. But against the three of them, I think we'll need more reinforcements. What do you have in mind? Since Shayna likes to play dirty, I've got the perfect idea to hit her right where it hurts. I like the sound of this. Once again, you've got the WWE Universe buzzing. That's nice and all, but I just want my title back from Shayna. Well, then you'll be happy to hear that I'm making a six-woman tag match. You, Josie, and Naya against Shayna and her crew. You beat Shayna's team, and you'll have your title rematch. Don't worry, we'll beat her. Well, this might help a bit. I can let you choose the match type for the six-woman tag. A regular six-woman tag match, elimination tag rules, or a no-disqualification tornado tag. I'd like to get rid of Shayna's teammates first, until it's just her left to fight on her own. So elimination rules. You got it.
crazy dream. I turned on a classic movie after Raw ended, and when I fell asleep, my brain was a whirlwind of wicked witches, scarecrows, and tin men fighting all my favorite WWE superstars. Got me thinking about tornado tag team matches. Any chance you'd click your heels and make all my dreams come true? <laughs> Don't know if you heard, but there's a superstar shakeup coming up. Oh, do you think there's a chance I might soon be competing on a different brand? That's up to you. Since you're a main eventer here on Raw, you have the option to be protected from switching brands. Or you can choose to be eligible. Ah, oh, got it. Anything else I should know? There's a stipulation saying that any champions who go to another brand will be forced to vacate their titles. That pretty much covers it. You know, it might be nice to have a change of pace. Put me in the shakeup. All right. All superstars participating in the shakeup must compete this week so the other GMs can see them in action. So, what's on tap for me? William Regal from NXT has mentioned he'd like to see you in a singles match while Adam Pearce from SmackDown said he'd like to see how you work as part of a team. So basically, which GM do you want to cater to? While I enjoy being on the red brand, I could see myself bleeding blue. Put me in a tag match. I'd love the chance to impress Adam Pearce over at SmackDown. Done. And if this is it, well, it's been interesting. To say the least. So, I know I'm cleared, but do you really think I'm ready? Yes. You know I never doubted you. But after watching you train over these last few weeks, I'm prouder than ever of the superstar you've become, and the person you've always been. Oh, Beth. You're gonna make me feel an emotion. 
Save that feeling and instead make Naya feel your presence in the ring. Being a hardworking superstar doesn't put you above having the right to a little revenge. You deserve it. I've been waiting for the right moment ever since you arrived here on the Raw brand. The right moment for what? Come on now. You must know I've been interested in you from the moment we met. It's not every day that a superstar with so much talent is also blessed with so much beauty. I'm sure you are overwhelmed with suitors, but know that it takes a man like myself to appreciate such a truly rare flower. Wow, uh, thank you, I think. Perhaps you would like to explore a partnership, both in and out of the ring? Well, I am an explorer at heart. Jess, I knew you had an adventurous soul. Let's test our chemistry in a mixed attack match tonight. And dinner afterwards is on me. Our chemistry in the ring was undeniable. I haven't Stop thinking about it all week. You move, I move, I move, you move. We were in a perfect sync, like a beautiful tango. Just imagine what we can accomplish together. You know what's also undeniable? The confusing DM I got from Liv. Did you have something going on with her? Liv? I may have flirted with Liv in the past, but it was just a fling. Nothing like what I feel with you. Unfortunately, Lee may have become too attached. I cannot say I blame her, but do not be concerned. I only have eyes for you. All right, I guess. Do not guess. This is so. Do not let a jealous Lee Morgan spoil the chemistry that we share. As for tonight, make no mistake that I will be in your corner. I hear that Mandy Rose has two possible opponents in mind. You will reign triumphant over either. But who would you prefer to conquer? I'm thinking Ember Moon might find herself in trouble this evening. And what beautiful, elegant trouble I'm sure it will be. Did you feel it? Our bond is stronger than ever. You are the angel this angel has been waiting for. Come, let us take our relationship to the next level and shout it from the rooftops. Liv messaged me, again. Were you in a relationship with her? I'm not sure you're being truthful with me. Either way, she's not over you, whatever your relationship was. Are you really so concerned about Liv, mi amor? Let us concern ourselves with other things, such as the moon, the stars, and the wonder that amid the vastness that is this world, we have found each other. Liv is in my past, but you, you are my future. It sounds like a fairy tale, Angel, but unfortunately, that's all it can be. I can't trust you. I think we should go our separate ways. What? Mi amor, are you... are you dumping me? No one breaks up with Angel Garza. You will regret the day you have made this foolish choice. I 
I've been hearing reports that Mandy Rose is up to her old tricks again, generally messing with the roster and making some pretty bizarre matches for her own amusement. I think she might back off a bit if you beat her current lackey in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Uh, excuse you. Um, what did I do? Stand there, breathe, exist. I wonder if too much hair dye can start to make people overly crabby. Seems that way. Every time I see your disgusting face, it reminds me of that fluke victory you had over me. It's a black mark on my career. I never stop hearing about it, and I'm sick of it. Probably shouldn't have lost then. Watch yourself. I talked to Mandy. She's agreed to set up a rematch. You and me tonight. Unless you're scared of facing the boss in a fair fight, that is. It's not my fault the WWE Universe is excited about me and thinks I'm the future of WWE. But if you want a rematch, I'm happy to give you another fair fight. Perfect. But don't get too confident. There's no travel delay to help you win now. This time, I'll be ready. <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, I've played your little game, overcome all your little obstacles. You asked before if I was scared to face you. From where I'm standing, looks like the only one who's scared is you. Oh, stop being dramatic. You'll get your rematch. Although, I'm not sure why you won it. It won't end well for you. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Because this time, your friend Bailey won't be there to bail you out. I've made sure of that. I talked to Mandy, and our match is going to be a steel cage match, so that nobody can interfere. You think you're pretty clever, don't you? Yeah, just a little bit. Well, I got news for you. You're not the only one who talked to Mandy. And lucky for me, she owes me a favor, and she's never really liked you. Just so happens, there's another stipulation in play. After our match, when I win, you're going to be gone from Raw. Loser leaves Raw? Really? I can't wait to see the boss shipped off to another brand after I win. Oh, I'm sorry. That was unclear. It's only Loser leaves Raw for you. Tough to be the future of WWE if you can't compete on its flagship show, huh? Can you believe the nerve? The audacity? I mean, what was Mandy Rose even thinking? Um, yes, no, I don't know, Charlotte. What are we talking about here? I'm surprised you haven't heard. I was talking to Mandy about properly enshrining my excellence here on Raw by crowning me officially as queen of the ring. It has a nice ring to it, right? I mean, a simple, understandable request. Mandy, however, got the twisted idea to turn my birthright into a Queen of the Ring tournament for the right to face me. She claimed it's an attempt to generate TV ratings and boost brand awareness. But I know Mandy has it out for me. I don't know. Seems like a pretty understandable move for a general manager to make. It's ludicrous. I mean, who's even going to enter this tournament and challenge me for the title of Queen of the Ring? You know, Charlotte? I think I'm going to go talk to Mandy right now. If she won't listen to me, I'm not sure you can talk any sense into her. Talk some sense? 
Oh no, I'm gonna make sure that I have a spot in that tournament. Because you're right about one thing, Charlotte. Queen of the Ring does have a nice ring to it. For me. You're going to regret this. You know, as much as it pains me to admit, you've been doing an adequate job in this sham of a tournament. Still, nothing that's on the level of a real queen, of course, but passable. I wonder if you'll feel the same way when I win the finals and we end up facing each other for the crown. I wouldn't underestimate me. I'll estimate you exactly as it pleases me, thank you very much. But I'll also be watching you in the finals. I'll be watching you very closely. You don't step to the queen without consequence. Wow, I almost didn't see you there. Probably on account of all the distracting glare from this very shiny Intercontinental Championship title. What's this all about? Ding dong, hello! I'm the first ever women's Intercontinental Champion! Man, even for someone like me who already holds so many records, it's pretty impressive. Right. And how exactly did you even win this? I don't remember hearing anything about a women's intercontinental champion in WWE. That's because it's not just for WWE, but for the entire world, you idiot! Hence the name of it, Intercontinental. Anyway, I won it in an epic tournament in Rio de Janeiro against the best wrestlers from all the continents. It was so exclusive, cameras weren't even allowed. And when the final match was over, it was me, Bailey, standing over the decimated competition. I could still hear the roar of the crowd shouting my name, Bailey, the greatest of all time. In fact, I'm not only going to be the first ever women's intercontinental champion, I'm going to be the only women's intercontinental champion. No one will ever beat me. They'll actually rename it the Bailey Continental Championship. Has a great ring to it now that I think of it. Pretty confident about all that, huh? Why wouldn't I be? What, are you going to prove me wrong? As a matter of fact, I am. I could use a little shine around my waist. You probably could, but you won't. Don't worry, I'll take it easy on you. Ah, who am I kidding? I definitely won't. Hey, not to be impatient, but when am I going to get my intercontinental title match with Bailey? It's been a hot second. Your intercontinental title match with Bailey? What are you even talking about? She said she'd give me a shot. Yeah, but a shot at what? The championship she won a few weeks ago in Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro? Are you kidding me? That girl wasn't in Rio. She was off because her dog was getting a root canal. Just like Bailey to invent something fake. Ugh, I knew it didn't all add up. Too bad. Because despite the lies, it actually isn't a bad idea. But I guess it doesn't matter now. Bailey may be full of it, but you're right. Having a women's IC title is a good idea. It's about time, right? If only there were some kind of authority figure who could make it an officially recognized title. Hmm. Oh wait, there is. Me. And since Bailey's already agreed to it, I see no problem with giving you a title opportunity. A real title opportunity. 
Wow, I guess people should invent titles more often, huh? Don't get any ideas. You're full of it, Bailey. But I did what your so-called contract asks. Three international superstars defeated. Shall I ask Mandy to set the title match, or would you like to do the honors? As much as I hate to admit it, I am impressed. Congratulations. You know, I've said it from the start. This Intercontinental Championship is a very prestigious title. After all, I hold it. But you've done the work. So I'll talk to Mandy. Wait, so you're really not going to try to weasel out of this? What kind of champion do you think I am? After all, you fulfilled the requirements of the contract exactly. And you know how much I respect official championship contract law. Right. Oh, but speaking of... There is one thing I forgot to mention. Since it is an international title, you know how when you apply for your passport or a visa, there's a waiting period before you get it? Yeah, the title contract actually also specifies a lengthy waiting period before we can set up the match you qualified for. You're kidding me. No, you're probably actually serious, aren't you? Aw, uh, don't worry. It'll go by fast. I mean, by the time the waiting period is over, I'll have probably broken the record as the longest reigning intercontinental champion ever, male or female. But to you, it will seem like the blink of the eye. I mean, heck, I guess there's a chance that you might not even be in WWE by then. So I don't know. Feel free to send me a card or something, or congratulate me on social media since you'll be retired. Hashtag longest reigning IC champion sounds good. Thanks. Can't wait to hear from you then. Toodles! I just wanted to let you know that I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to build the Raw brand around a champion like you. I think we can really do something special together. But for that to happen, I'd prefer if you were out there defending your title as frequently as possible. So are you ready to be everything I think you can be? Yes, I'm ready. I want to be a reliable and consistent champion. Unlike Bailey. And it's been my dream for so long to be one of the faces of Raw. So let's get started. That's great to hear. I already have a challenger lined up for your next title defense. You versus Bianca Belair is going to be a great match. I saw your post. Is there something we need to discuss, Mandy? I did want to talk to you. About your next title defense. Can you cut the nonsense? You clearly don't like me, or at least don't want me to be intercontinental champion. Putting me in match after match with all sorts of weapons involved and no rest or time to prepare? Your clear disdain for my victory? I'm working hard and proving myself. I thought this was all for the good of the brand. What are you doing? It is for the good of the brand. But you're right. The more I think about it, the more I don't want you to be IC champion. Because you know who would be best for the brand? Me. 
You're challenging me? Are you serious? As serious as that piece of hardware I'll soon be taking from you. I mean, who better to be the face of Monday Night Raw than Mandy Rose? I already call the shots around here. It's a natural fit. If anyone's the face of Raw, it's me, not you. But if you want me to beat you too, I guess I'm game. Oh wow, it's so cute that you think you have a choice. I may be the future IC champion, but I'm still GM. Which means that in addition to facing me, you'll also be facing Bianca, Ember, and Naya as well. In a three-on-one, handicap, non-title match. And since I'm so generous and willing to share the spotlight, I'll let them face you first, before you defend your title. I really am great at this job. Great. I would have a few different adjective choices. Use whatever adjectives you like. See you in the ring, champ. I hear you qualified for the Money in the Bank match. Congrats. But I hope that doesn't mean you're getting cocky about your chances for my Raw Women's Championship. You've got a long way to go before you can even think about that. You're a great champion, Naomi. But I'm not going to squander any opportunity that comes my way. 
I've been dreaming of climbing that ladder since I was a little kid. I just want to prove to all my fans and the WWE universe that I'm the real deal. Well, don't get too tired trying to climb up that ladder. And if you do make it there first, you're going to need all the energy in the world to keep up with my glow. So, I need to talk to you about Charlotte. I already said Charlotte's straight. I'm not worried about her right now. Well, whether or not you're worried, I just got off the phone with WWE management and they've weighed in. Your attempt to use the briefcase on Raw was an official cash-in, despite what Charlotte did. So as a result, you no longer have the briefcase. What? Are you serious? That's unfair, biased, and unacceptable. There's gonna be consequences for this. Starting with me tearing Charlotte apart. Now hold on a second. I'm going to give you a chance at that actually. You may no longer have the briefcase, but regardless of that, Naomi does need a challenger for SummerSlam. I can't just give you that match, but I can give you a match on Raw against Charlotte. Winner faces Naomi at SummerSlam for the title. That work for you? Yeah, it'll have to. There's my Raw Women's Champion. Feeling pretty good today? I always feel good with gold around my waist. I was hoping you'd say that. Just wanted to let you know Bianca Belair is on a bit of a winning streak and has earned a Raw Women's title opportunity. Are you feeling good enough to defend your championship? FYI, it's going to happen sooner or later. I'm ready for the so-called EST. Set it up and let's go. You got it. We're so glad to have you back on Raw. Let me fill you in on what you missed. I don't need filling in. I was hardly out of the arena after the attack before Charlotte basically stole the Raw championship. I want my title back, and I want Charlotte and her group to pay for what they did. I can give you a match against Charlotte, but after what happened last time, you might have trouble facing her alone. The four queens have been dominant on Raw ever since you left. If you got any friends, now might be the time to ask them for backup. I understand the risk, but I got myself into this and I need to get myself out. I'll take on Charlotte, alone. Fair enough. Don't say I didn't warn you.
Natalia was here earlier and got upset when I kept making nautical jokes because she's the boat. <laughs> Get it? I thought it was pretty funny, but she didn't and threatened to have me kicked out. Think you could see if there's anything you can do about that? See? Boat. <laughs> Get it? Who is Liv Morgan? Is that a serious question? Yeah, it is. Since honestly, you're a bit hard to read. I mean, one minute you're with the riot squad, the next you're not. Then you get back together and now you're on your own? Make up your mind, Liv. Things move fast around here, especially when it comes to allies and enemies. Sometimes even I have whiplash. That's because you have no real anchor to ground you. Or sense of direction. What are you trying to say? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want me to sugarcoat it? Yeah, not going to do that. You're best working with others. With a leader. Like me. If you're such a great leader, then why don't you and I team up? Show me what I'm missing. Now that's actually not a terrible idea. I'm down to bring you on board. And being around me, well, some of my skills are sure to rub off on even you. Whatever. But if we can do some damage together, I'm all for it. Speaking of damage, I have some business to take care of in the ring tonight. But can you help me settle a score with Nia Jax? She's been bothering me on social media lately, and I'm sick of it. So, if we're going to be a team, prove I can depend on you by giving Nia a piece of your mind. I don't know about a piece of my mind, but I'm happy to give her a piece of my fist. You know, this might actually be worth my time after all. I really looked good out there, huh? What part of the match was your favorite? I actually didn't get to see the match. I was dealing with Naya. Ooh, spicy. Tell me everything. I've been wanting to take it to her for a while now. Nothing really spicy. She... she beat me up. What? You mean you failed at doing a simple little favor for me? Wow. I should have trusted my gut. I knew you didn't deserve to work with me. You said you had an issue with her, but you didn't tell me that you were the one who started harassing her on social media. When I approached her, she was already hot from her latest post. You shouldn't have put me in that position. Partners don't do that. Well, then it's a good thing we're not partners anymore. It's not my fault you couldn't handle Naya. Although, I do take responsibility for not knowing better than to trust you. I should have taught you first. In fact, I'm still going to give you a lesson firsthand. Next week, we face each other in the ring. See if you can keep up, little girl. You know, when I was taking it to you in the ring, it finally felt like we were starting to get somewhere. Saw a bit of progress, even. I mean, you never had a chance of beating me. But still, progress. Maybe teaming up together wasn't such a terrible idea after all. There's hope for you yet. I hate to admit it, but I did feel a chemistry between us two. And competing against you leveled up my game. You were right, I've struggled to find my direction. But maybe working with you is it. I'm down to give it another try. Okay, I'll give you another chance. Let's face Naya and Tamina together in a tag match and find out if you've made enough progress to make this worth my time. It'll be totally worth it. Promise. With today's technology, I can watch wrestling anywhere. At home, when I'm out, on the toilet. Oh, come on, everyone does it. Shorter matches are best to watch in the bathroom. Otherwise, your legs fall asleep. Anyway, as a favor to me and my circulation, think you can wrap up your next match in five minutes or less? 
Did you hear about the fundraiser that Carmela and Ember are doing for underprivileged cats? They're getting donations for every victory. Sounds like a good idea. Unless you don't like cats. Or charities. Please stop harassing me to shoot a special on your career. You know that we're filming one for Dana Brooke right now. She's been great to work with, unlike some people. And as long as she keeps up her momentum, we have our hands full documenting her story. Hello, my talented Raw Women's Champion. Oh, geez. You only talk like that when you need my help. What is it this time? I think Becky Lynch is planning on returning soon. Which, honestly, lame. I should be the only man around here. But it's no surprise that she wants your Raw Women's Championship. I don't know why anyone thinks they can just take my title. Even Becky Lynch. Right? But here's the thing. We both have a mutual interest. Shutting down Becky Lynch. So what do you say we work together to do just that? I agree. The Raw Women's Champion should have access to any and all WWE intel and resources. So, if you have anything that can help me, or a plan to handle Becky, as a responsible GM, you need to let me know. Don't worry about that. You'll know when you need to know. Tonight, just worry about your match against Carmella. Beat her to send Becky a decisive message. And whatever happens afterwards, well, just follow my lead. Becky may have surprised you in the ring, but I think you'll agree that barring the man from running her mouth hits her where it hurts most. Without the ability to speak, she's much less powerful. And taking away her social media too is just the icing on top of the cake. That peace and quiet is some extra sweet icing. Exactly. Without her voice, Becky is nothing. Have you been checking social media? There's this stupid hashtag trending, and I'm getting absolutely blasted by other superstars and fans. You wouldn't believe what these idiots are saying. It's gone way beyond social media. I just got word that Becky trashed my office in Stanford. She also somehow charged 10 grand of Irish whiskey to my hotel room. She's making my life a living hell. $10,000 of whiskey? <sighs> Honestly? 
I'm just impressed. Stay focused. We're putting an end to this tonight. I've gotten Carmela out of the way and we're going to take Becky on together. Luckily, I know the GM and pulled some strings to get us a two-on-one match. Sounds like that's a pretty smart GM. And angry. Let's end this now. This is a disaster. First we lost the match and now Becky's social media campaign to let the man speak is exploding? WWE even crumbled under the pressure and reinstated her social media account. As much as I hate it, you're going to have to give Becky a title match. If not, advertisers are threatening to pull out and then I could lose my job as GM. And I'm not going to let that happen. Well, what you should have done is not tap out to Becky last week. It didn't help her argument to have that win, especially in a two-on-one match. Hey, watch yourself. I'm still GM around here. And if you don't disrespect me further, I'm still willing to give you a choice of how you defend your championship. So what type of match would you like to have with Becky? Hmm. Becky likes to call herself the man. Well, let's have a last man standing match. I'll fittingly strip her of that name once and for all. Sounds like a plan. <laughs>